Hello, my beautiful Vibe Drivers. Welcome to your Mystic Affirmations for Thursday, June the 13th of 2024. Many blessings to you all as we move forward in this energy. Remember, this is collective. This means it's for all sun, moon, and rising signs. That means if you'd like to have a personal reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be really excited to see you and hope that you can jump on this discount before it ends on Monday. So we've got a few days left and the door will close on the 17th as we move forward in this energy. Thank you so much for the likes and subscribes. I love you guys. That's part of the currency of the beautiful interwebs. And I thank you for all the support through these many years. We're, 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 seven and a half years in now so yay team this has been my permanent uh, job so i love it and i hope y'all enjoy my readings as well i'm just doing this to help everybody set their energy back to positive creating this relentless optimistic energy as we move forward with the positively positive creating using the law of attraction the law of divine compensation and our ability to focus with intention and boy do we ever have that ability so let's crank it up now and see what the cards have to say oh we've got the five of cups and the temperance sagittarius uh, this would normally show an angel in the standard tarot it is the archangel uriel who's the keeper of the flame of life or the fire of of life itself and it's a synchronicity being created to balance even though there's different sized orbs over here they may they match the contents of this one which creates this beautiful synchronicity and balance now the Five of Cups is knowing when it's time to let the sun set on the old and see that spark of the new light your way forward as you move into the quantum where experience will not be available to you because you have not experienced this yet, which means you have to go through the closing of the door to the familiar in order to receive what's coming in. These two cups are the gifts of creation for this new beautiful energy. As you can see, I can't do my wrists far enough over. This is the energy of the unseen, the unknown, as we move into that quantum field, closing the door on the known and being able to move forward with those experiences lighting our way. But we know that we don't fully know what's what's out there other than it is the way forward and we must move in that direction. So don't spend any time wallowing in, in the pity party of life. We don't have time for that. We have synchronicity to get to. So let's see what else we have. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure, white light. Divine spirit. Oh, nice. The runway is clear. This is a yes from the universe. You may now proceed. All the steps that you have taken have now put you in a position where all the clutter is out of the way and the runway is ready and you are illuminated by all of that experience. And the universe says, go for it. It's time. We are ready to launch. So let's see. Divine spirit, spirit guides, gods and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow all sun, moon and rising signs to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages. And we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. So we have our three cards out. And our underlier. Love it. The Empress providing you with all of the foundational energy of new abundance the energy, well, money and abundance, wealth and prosperity with the bananas and the beautiful fertility of the pomegranate with the affluence of the pineapple. So being in that beautiful energy of all things creative being there with the divine feminine energy of source itself to help you move forward with good fortune, because there it is, good fortune coming in. The universe provides me and my family with prospects for good fortune this is where you 
create that by believing that good things happen to you all the time. Even when things look like they might go south, something happens and the universe turns it on a dime and you end up better off than you were to begin with. This is how you believe it into being because that's when all these things, if you say, oh, well, I see nothing but red cars around me. Well, guess what? When you keep driving, you're going to see more red cars and more red cars and more red cars. Are the cars turning red at the drop of a dime? Who knows? There's studies saying that that's possible. But what we have to understand is we're the ones having the experience. So what we believe is true for us. You don't have to talk anybody else into it. Talk yourself into the belief that you are the one that's creating these beautiful energies and agreeing with the universe that prosperity is available to you. And if you if you never believe that, you're not going to draw it to you because you're doubting it and canceling it out. If you don't believe it in your heart, it's a harder, a harder thing. It's going to have to take time and space, and that's forever. That's a lifetime. Magnetism, and I know you don't want to repeat it. I don't either. I, let's not do that. <laughs> I, don't, I want to advance, not move backwards. Magnetism is really important because it's the frequency of your brain and your thoughts and your heart and your your connection to source that draws things to you. So that's why we have to pay attention to what we're thinking. And if you have something crazy happen, ask yourself, what was I thinking right before that? I guarantee you, you will figure out where your little Achilles heel is. I attract and magnetize to me all that I need to get what I want. Magnetism is a natural force. You don't have to do anything other than to be in the same frequency as what you're attracting. Hello. <laughs> we'll take it. And we have magnetism all over this planet. So. And let's see what our angel answers oracle cards have to say. Get more information. Now, sometimes we have to sit and let the universe give us some wisdom. And that's meditation, being in a place of stillness and just listening. That's the beautiful energy of the Merkaba and the Metatron's cube. I believe that angel is the representation of the all-knowing, beautiful energy of the right hand of God, the scribe of God. And he was Enoch in the Bible. And Metatron became Metatron through the grace of the divine and was ascended as a divine master into angelic status. Isn't that a cool story? And third eye chakra, really important for you to keep your third eye clear. The frequency of the third eye chakra, the indigo flower of life, supports our intuition and our inner knowing, our imagination, and our psychic powers. So when you're feeling a vibe, that's where it's coming in. Right through that third eye, right into the crown, right into the heart. Third eye has to be open for you to be able to connect and discern what it's trying to tell you. So a lot of practice. Not that it's impossible, but I'll just tell you, as a person who was psychic before I knew how to handle it or control it, it's really scary to the person it's happening to if they don't know what it is, A, and that it's not going to hurt you, and B, um, how to regulate it that's you really can't control it but you can it's like a, a gas flame you can turn it higher or lower depending on what what you're doing and and how much practice you've had this is, means you have to use it in order to be able to understand how to control it so we have encouragement Your love is invaluable to the earth and those around you. Even though you may not always see the positive effect your love has on others, trust, for it does. Each time you offer love through a loving gesture, thought, or word, you plant a seed of love. And love always generates more love. Trust and continue your loving work. And so it is. Love is a very powerful energy. And being able to use that energy is the most important thing. And self-love also counts. Uh, be respectful of yourself and being in a place where you honor yourself. Miracle. Dearest one, even if all hope seems lost, do not let it slip away. For I, your guardian angel, am constantly by your side. 
Surrender all your concerns to me and trust in the healing power of love. Please believe that you are never alone and together we shall work through each issue or situation which is, which is of concern to you. All heals with the passing of time. Magic and miracles are about to manifest an exclamation point, and so it is. We receive the magic and miracles. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, universe, for that confirmation. And here we go. Hello. We have the sun card. That is magic and miracles in my book. We also have the empress here. So the beautiful sun card is the happiest card in tarot. It means divine alignment to all things that are for you. So you don't have to force anything. The opportunity literally is showing up and opening itself up to you without any obstructions. We have the four of pentacles, which is financial stability and money in the bank. Thank you, universe. We received that as well. So very much in that place of being empowered financially. And the Six of Pentacles. This is abundance coming in that doesn't have to be paid back. It can be actual financial blessings showing up or something that is worth more or, or turns out better than you initially hoped. So very solid in that Six of Pentacles energy. So this Empress is here to help magnify all of this good stuff. Allow yourself to connect to Source. It is a wonderful practice and a necessary one in order to use it for manifestation. So many blessings to you, my friends. Have a beautiful day and I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste.